Daily fantasy contests are now open for the new Premier League season. Build your lineup and accumulate points in real time. Download the Starting Eleven app now. Available on Android and iOS. Welcome back to the FPL Watchlist, where we'll be taking a quick look at three players who impressed over the weekend, and will be options to transfer into the FPL tip team for the upcoming game weeks. Following Richarlison's sending off and subsequent suspension, many of us are on the lookout for a budget midfielder to replace the Everton man. Theo Walcott put his name in the mix as a like-for-like -like replacement option when he scored his second goal of the season during the 2 all draw with Bournemouth. Amongst midfielders, priced at 7 million or below, Walcott's three FPL involvements this season is joint top, along with teammate Richarlison and Watford's Pereira. Amongst Everton players, only Richarlison and Keane have taken more shots from inside the box than Walcott this season, and with the pair both set to be absent in the near future, through suspension and injury, perhaps we'll see the former Arsenal midfielder step up. Everton have three home games over the next four game weeks, welcoming Huddersfield, West Ham and Fulham to Goodison Park. Nine goals conceded by Huddersfield and West Ham this season is more than any other team in the Premier League have allowed. Two assists for Callum Wilson at the weekend means he's now been directly involved in five goals during the first three game weeks. Only Marcus Alonso has matched the Bournemouth forward for FPN involvement so far, across all positions. He took a further five efforts from inside the box against Everton, a tally matched by only Salah in game week three, and no player has taken more than Wilson's 13 shots from inside the box over the first three game weeks, all being involved in more than his six big chances. It's a potentially tricky fixture away to Chelsea next for Eddie Howe's side, but they still have plenty of favourable fixtures to come over the next seven game weeks, including home matches against Leicester, Crystal Palace and Southampton. So for those of us who still don't own the 26-year-old, perhaps he's someone we can look at in a couple of weeks' time. Another man who impressed over the weekend was Fulham's Alexander Mitrovic, whose tally of two goals and one assist against Burnley saw him become the joint highest scoring forward this season, matching Aguero's 24 points. His total of 15 goal attempts this season is third best in the league, beaten by only Aguero and Salah with 16 shots, while no player has taken more than Mitrovic's seven efforts on target. He's been involved in four big chances so far, a tally matched by Salah and Aguero, and beaten by only Callum Wilson. It's back-to-back -back away fixtures against Brighton and Man City next for Fulham, which may put new buyers off in the short term. But with a relatively kind run between Game Week 6 and Game Week 11, he's another one to perhaps consider picking up in a couple of weeks' time. With a lot of fixture swings taking place in Game Week 6, that's looking like a good time to use the wildcard if you haven't already. <laughs> 